Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more of this shithole in Let's Play Sword of Mana. Ha have I gone backwards? I swear, if I've just gone in a loop, I will be so pissed off you don't even know. No, this does seem different. A pile of night corpses. Arranged by a water spirit according to their bravery. So... Yeah, you just walk straight over that. No, I, I was being facetious. Don't actually walk over it, please. Oh, for crying out. I didn't... I, I incredibly didn't want to do the bubble. And I really want him to stop hurting himself. Did that do a thing? It's not really clear to me if that did a thing. You know, I guess that these are all knights themselves, like... The horses are chest knights, and these guys are sort of knight-like. So, it might be that it just wants me to kill these guys using... a water spirit? Can you... St stop! Doing that! Ah! That is so annoying! There. Die, please! Well, this does explain the night that I was in the area I couldn't reach, just a little bit. Nope. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, that totally filled it up. This one didn't fill up, though. There we go. One, two... Oh, I get it! And three. Okay, I need to actually hit it, though. Oh, maybe I just needed to cut it. Right, well... I really don't like you guys. I'm, I gotta be honest. They seem to heal themselves, too, which is just... Typical, really. But yeah, that jumping over me constantly thing is incredibly annoying. And they seem to like to hang out in difficult to reach areas as well. Yep. Typical. Okay, I don't really need healing, but I could use the top off. And you do sort of need it. Three nature spirit siblings who get along very well. All three brothers knock three times. When the yellow stone is stepped on, a water spirit sweeps away the walls and floor. Okay, so... That looks kind of yellow to me. And box! Also, I can't ha not help but notice I have my sword out right now. One, two, three. Which is odd, because I didn't need, it, need a weep on out for this stuff before. And... Step on the yellow. The walls and floor have been swept away. Again. It just keeps going higher and higher. Oh. More of this, eh? Okay... Die, Pinocchio! You don't belong in this world! Actually, it doesn't really make much sense for you to- Well, I say that, but to be honest, this is probably one of the enemy placements that makes more sense. It is, after all, presumably a doll animated by mana, which does seem to fit quite well with Dime Tower. Can you- thank you. Open up this, then level up. Well, that's just typical. Oh no. A little closer- there we go. Perfect! Give me. Okay, iron, and 
Silk. And change my weep on. And level up. Cha cha! What does this button do? Or tablet. You know, whichever. Oh, you're so terrible! Not the robot. I mean, the. this guy. It's really annoying. And it does actually seem to be hurting Robo quite a bit. There we go, killed it. On two yellow stones, the first fire spirit lights a candle. And I really don't need a heal healing for myself, but that robot really does. Mostly because of this asshole. Well, not this one specifically, but these assholes. I guess the plural works. I, you know, I really should try a different weapon type against this, because this is kind of ridiculous. I don't think I'd be able to hit it with my mace, so... bow maybe? Nope, that is totally ineffective. I guess we'll try this, but... Okay, that's not actually really much better than my sword, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but... Hmm. Okay, I can actually just go straight up, but I probably need to do something in this area. Oh, I've been burninated. Okay, well now I can sort of use healing, which is sort of convenient, because I need to heal that guy. What I get? It's a mimic. I hate you so much! But, you're actually pretty weak now. Oh, it's just a Dread Icon? Well, that's lame. Okay, well, it said... Oh, it lit up. Okay, so do I just need to step on the other one? I'm ignoring you. Or do I need to actually do fire? Well, that seems to have sufficed. Just stepping on them. And I'm here again. Really feel like I'm running in circles. Like, this is literally the third time I've been in this room. But the floor count does keep counting. Okay, let's take this chance to actually heal a little. Good thing slashing doesn't actually hurt me. Okay, that lit up. And that's dead. And that's a box. What? Did I just take damage while I was opening a box? I feel like I did. Which is kind of bull. A little bit. Mm, okay, what's the tablet say? A pile of night corpses whose deaths are blessed according to their bravery. The second fire spirit lights a candle. Okay, so I interpret that as meaning I have to hit this equal to the number of times. Oh, wow, I'm nearly dead. What? What just happened? Oh, I have to do an order. Of course, the doorway to the next floor is open, so... I'm not sure if I need to hit the last one? Yeah, like, that didn't actually do anything. The door's already open. Did, did I, like, run into a bug or something? Weird. Heal! I am amazed that robot has not died yet. Like, legitimately. Between bad pathing AI, bad con- actually, just generally bad AI. Marionette, when his strings are cut, the last fire spirit lights a candle. Oh, I have to kill the marionettes! That sucks. Those guys are just the worst. 
three estranged fire spirits. When they're together, a nature spirit will open the door. Okay, so two lights are lit up. So I guess I did actually need to do each floor. Good to know. Having said that, what is less good is that I have to fight these bastards. Who are pretty much the worst. Also, I don't think I can even get reach to them. I mean, that doesn't even hurt them, so... Does this hurt them? Not in a meaningful way. Let's also change to something that'll hurt a l that'll... has a bit more range. Uh... Okay, that goes along the ground, actually. That doesn't work at all. Okay, that... that's a no. How about Luna? Eh, Luna's kind of... not great. That's ineffective. That's ineffective. That's ineffective. It has to be Luna, doesn't it? Kind of looking like it, yeah. Okay, Luna it is. Since that's the only one that does any damage at all. Oh, I missed. Damn it! Oh. Great. Just... just great. You know, you have a laser cannon that seems to hurt them. You could shoot them. But no. I would have been so upset if that had wasted my thing. Well, at least Luna's leveling up a little bit. Not that it means it's doing any more damage! How much health do these even have? I mean, I realize I've been neglecting magic a little bit, but frankly, the game is sort of built to make you do that, considering how worthless... Well, actually, that's not really true. It's built to make you needlessly grind. Well, I guess not needlessly, since it forces you to do it. But I digress. You really just lost half your life walking on those spikes. No, stop it! You'll die for real! There is no real life warp bot. If you die here, you're dead forever. Oh, I killed one! I killed two! Where's number... Okay, well, Warbot can't die from walking on spikes, but it can mostly die. Okay, did that do it? Wait. Oh, cool. Mmm. I want this for all my, like, what? Tw oh! There's a. Ooh. Careful. That lit up. What is the- and I haven't used the golden statue yet. Beneath a hidden yellow stone, two nature spirits sleep. If you wake them up, they will knock the door down. Well, I seem to have stepped on the hidden yellow stone on accident. There's a box there. Hmm. How do I reach that? Well, I guess I need to step on another one. I- it did say two. Okay, well that's two. Ah. And that would be- nope. Well, the box is- oh yeah, no, this is how I reach the box. Maybe? I guess I had to do this before I lifted it up. Hmm. Well, whatever. Upward and onward, I suppose. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Exterminate! 
EXTERMINATE! Well, I'm pretty sure a robot is about to kill you. Oh, or at least attempt to kill you. Eliminate hero, do not- what? Wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay, well that was ineffective. How about this one? Okay, so obviously I want to stay- no. That's a no. As usual, it's- whoa! As usual, it's sword or bust. Okay, so I need to stand close because of that, and also to hit it, but I need to watch out for that. Hmm. I mean, wow, you have such high defense. I mean, honestly, I think Ifrit was worse than this. Possibly faster, which is kind of sad, uh, but worse. Wait, did it just heal? It did. It healed itself, didn't it? No, you're not allowed to- Oh, okay. I can only hurt it when it's glowy. I get it. Defense down? But yeah, I get it. I can only hurt it when it's glowy. So, careful. No, come on. Really? There we go. Hit it that time. Ah, no, I walked right into that one again. Haha! -ha! I should be careful though, because I figured fence down. It can probably deal a fair amount of damage if I have bad timing. So. And the attack that does that deals like 80 damage on its own, so... Yeah, this is way better than Ifrit. Although, I should probably stop getting hit by that, but... Okay, I need to dodge that. Oh, I totally missed my chance to attack that time. And it's dead. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Not so bad at all. Now what? I guess now I go up some more. Oh hey, it's her again. Going ahead was alright, except that- what? Uh. Yep. Decades! He's like the warbots we saw at the... Did she go to the subsea volcano? I don't recall her going to the subsea volcano. So, she's like the warbots I saw at the volcano, but not her, because she wasn't there. Lester <laughs> was there. I swear, if that robot breaks... Julius the Shadow? Okay, I gotta be honest, this guy is a little bit weird to me, because it seems to be its own separate entity from Julius, which is really weird. So you were able to raise Dime Tower! The rumor is about Siba sealing it? What? I, I don't see how the one is related to the other. What is happening? Defense systems were triggered when I defeated the golem? Um. So this is where the robot dies, right? I feel pretty confident this is where the- oh. Yeah, that didn't really work. In fairness, it was a shadow. This is where we get rid of unwanted guests. Would you two like to be alone for a while? Before the world ends? Sink with Dime Tower, you worms! 
Worms, who dare to oppose a god? Well, isn't that just typical? I was right about this being where I ditched the robot. I was l However, I made an erroneous assumption that I would get to keep Elena, quite possibly. I fucking swear. Just jump. Do it. Do it. Do it! Do it! Just do it! No! No, I'm not putting up with this bullshit! This is just the... No, this is just bad writing! That doesn't actually make it any better. I mean, it makes it better in a gameplay sense, but it makes it no better from a writing sense. Marshall can... It can... Really? Is it- are- are you lying? I feel like you're lying. But yeah, here's- here's why that's bad writing. By making the robot have to act to save Elena, they're effectively taking power away from her and making her a bad character. They're turning her into a damsel for no damn reason. Yep. Yep, it lied. Oh! That's interesting. Not what I was expecting. The robot, ironically, is actually a decent character. I mean, not great, but, you know, we only had it around for one dungeon. Cut it some slack, you know? Yeah, let's go. To the Mana Sanctuary. It's the birds again. This is Sanctuary. The life-giving forest. The Mana Temple! Thank you. Whoa! The robot died for you, or sorry ass. Wait, no, I don't want to go in yet. Can, can I, can I, can I please, like, I wanted to... <sighs> okay, stop. We're stopping here. Join me next time for the Mana Sanctuary! Yay, question mark? Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye! Ah. Uh...